Welcome back to the DCS portal. I want to review the orientation process. Um, very important. Uh, we've talked about the recruiting process, the interview process. Now we've reached the point where what do you do when you decide to move forward and hire an individual? And again, this whole process is laid out for you in the operations manual. Uh, so please refer to that. But let's talk about it and why it's important. Um, you want to make sure that you're setting up every single employee that walks through the door for success. You know, your goal as a franchise owner is to create opportunities for people. That's what we do. So, you know, people are coming in as a cleaning technician. They're excited. You know, they, they want to work. They want to they maybe work their way into a supervisory position, which we don't even consider promoting until that 90-day probationary period is up. However, getting them started on the right foot and giving them all the tools that they need to be successful you're going to put them in, in you're going to point them in the right direction you know as to uh, you know how to get to where they want to go and how to meet their goals so the orientation process it's pretty simple um, you know you're going to utilize a combination of the portal the ops manual um, you know and, and orientation videos that we have on the portal uh, to get them started on the right foot so the orientation what I do and what we do is we schedule it for a time that's going to work well uh, with that individual's first uh, shift and they're on the job training. So for example, if you have a candidate who applied for a daytime cleaning tech position, uh, we typically schedule their orientations for first thing in the morning. So that way, as soon as they're done, they're able to go out into the field uh, after they're paired up with one of your more experienced employees for their on the job training. Um, they'll work with a supervisor or one of your more experienced employees and they'll actually get to see the processes that they that they witnessed in the orientation video put into practice in the field. So we schedule it either first thing in the morning or if it's for an evening employee, we schedule it for the afternoon. So whatever's going to work with their schedule, your schedule, we try to make it a win-win all around. So the way the orientation works is once it's scheduled, that employee comes in, we want to make sure that they're on time, they're dressed appropriately, uh, so on and so forth. So the first thing we do is make sure we have all of their, uh, the proper paperwork prepared for them. In the franchise manual, we have our new hire packets, which what we do is we have about 10 to 15 of them prepared ahead of time. So that way we can just pull them out of a folder and we're ready to go. So your new hire paperwork, all your disclosure and sign out documents uh, needs to be prepped ahead of time. We put that in a folder with the employee's application, their name on the folder, and that's going to be known as their employee file for the future. Um, when they come in, sit them down, uh, have the paperwork there for them, have their cookbook ready for them. So whatever position that you've hired them for, you're going to have the appropriate cookbook ready to go. And we sit them down, open up the computer, uh, jump on the portal and show them uh, the first video, which is our orientation video. It's going to lay out all the systems, processes, procedures, everything they need to know to be successful at DCS. And it's also gonna get them um, you know, acquainted with our time tracking system uh, and any other particulars that they need to know. So the first video is our orientation video. The second that we have them watch is our janitorial training video, which is actually gonna take them step-by-step step through, the, through the process of how we clean in the field. Um, you know, we have one for a commercial account. We have everybody, whether it's residential or commercial, watch the commercial uh, training video and the reason for this is because residential is a little different and it involves more on the job training um, You know whereas the commercial side of things is a little bit more simplified and it's easier to maneuver through So we want to start everybody off of baby steps. So our residential folks once they're done with that video They're gonna start their training for the residential process uh, in the field with their supervisor So we have our training video and then finally our safety video all in all, the videos take about two hours. Um, you know, it's a long time uh, for somebody to stay seated. If it's first thing in the morning, you may want to encourage them to stand up, walk around the room. If they need to use the bathroom, show them where that is, um, you know, and get them acquainted with the office, offer them a coffee, water, uh, whatever's needed to help them get through that and pay attention. So once all of those videos are completed, the next step is for whoever's facilitating the orientation to come in take a copy of the uh, new hire's social security card, birth certificate, and driver's license, 
and make sure that we have all of that information on file. We'll also need a voided check or a direct deposit statement from their bank from them for direct deposit setup. Um, you know, some folks may want to, you know, have a pay card, which we utilize Soul Financial, um, you know, for those pay cards. And it's easy enough to set them up just like we were setting up uh, an ACH transfer for direct deposit. So we'll need those pieces of information on file, uh, get them through their employee paperwork. What we like to do is highlight all of the sections that they need to fill out in their employee paperwork. And then we can just give them the packet, have them go through, fill it out, and we can check it at the end uh, just to make sure that it's completed uh, and that everything is, is done as it needs to be. Once that's complete, their orientation is over. They'll be um, you know, escorted out by their supervisor uh, or trainer and they'll start their first day. It's very important that you know, during their first day, we really make a good impression that they're getting a good experience because it's gonna set the tone for their, their career path you know, in your franchise. So we wanna make sure that you know, we're introducing them to everybody, that they're comfortable, uh, they know everybody, and that they're comfortable with the office, where everything is, how things work. So we really wanna go above and beyond to make sure that their first day uh, is, a, is a good one. You're really gonna be able to set yourself apart from other businesses and other job opportunities that they may have had um, by the impression that you make and by the experience that you create for that employee. So again, um, relating back to eliminating turnover, this is a big piece of it. So the better start that your folks get off to, the more, the more enthusiastic they're gonna be, uh, the more they're gonna wanna do well and perform, the better quality product that your franchise is gonna put out there. So very important that we get them started off on the right foot. So once that's done and the employee goes out into the field, we're gonna take their employee file and we're gonna scan it and upload it into the computer so that way we have it in our files electronically. And then we'll place it in a file cabinet where, where the hard copies will stay. Um, you know, we have to keep by New York State law. The employee records, I believe it's for five years, uh, may be different in your state. So make sure that you're familiar with those laws and that you know exactly how long you have to keep those records for. Um, again, any questions on this process? how to get the orientation set up, started. Um, you know, take your time with the first couple until you get the hang of it, and then the process will flow very, uh, very smoothly for you. But again, reach out with any questions, and you know, make sure you have a full understanding of why the orientation is so important.